Welcome to another episode. So on this one, we're going to be looking at what I found on the Agate Motherload video. I just wanted to take a video and just show all this stuff a little bit more in depth. Uh, this is all of my Jasper. We'll probably, there's a, that little piece of chert in there too. We'll probably won't look at this too much. I'll just show you some of the, you know, more interesting ones. Let's start looking at some rocks up close. All right, so here's all the Jasper. I oiled up a few of them with mineral oil, the ones that kind of I thought were more interesting and they'll show off the detail a little bit better. Everything else that's in here is just as you can see, like reds, nicely silicated, yellow, also nicely silicated, which you can tell from that, that sheen, that waxiness. This almost looks like a piece of toffee and also even some green, a couple pieces. It's a little bit hit or miss. I don't usually, well, I don't always find it, but um, when I do, it's always nice. I really liked this one because it has some calcedony running through it. It even has, appears to have some bands on it. This is a nice, decent sized piece of yellow and red. Same deal, but yellow and brown. Also nicely silicated, yellow and red. I really like this one. This one has all kinds of colors in it. Yellow, red, brown, purple maybe even. Even looks like it has a little bit of greenish in spots, but this would also tumble up nicely. Yellow with little specks of red in there. This is a Jasp agate. You can tell that there's some chalcedony in there, even a little crystal pocket. There's a few that I have that I found that are a lot like this, like one like this. It's got a pocket in there and it just looks like it's broken in half and you can see that there's a crystal pocket in there as well. So it's kind of cool. This must have been inside the rock because this definitely looked like an outer rind and this is the inside of it. But let's get to some agates now so here they all are together i found so much variety all these darker ones and then chalcedony and then carnelian and a little bit of a mixture of the two and pockets no pockets banding these ones that hard agate that's super cool and unique this um nodule the really big piece of carnelian more big nodules like it's just all over the place in the variety that I found and I'm just extremely excited. It was a, an absolute blast. So, and I can't wait to do it again. So here's basically three piles of the agates that we'll be looking through with some light behind it. So let's start with the first little pile, which are the smaller ones and then we'll move to the bigger ones and then the biggest and also some of my favorites. All right, we have quite a few to go through. So let's get going. Beautiful banding in this one. See the little bands right there? Very translucent. Great color. Love it. This one's fairly opaque, but very pretty. Still fairly translucent. This one is a very translucent carnelian with a little pocket in the middle there. A little crystal pocket. I love this one. It's got amazing color, super translucent. A beautiful crystal pocket. And there's banding all around it. You couldn't ask for more in an agate. Just gorgeous. Another awesome carnelian nodule. Very smooth. Beautiful. Another super polished and smooth carnelian nodule here. Looks like it might have some mossiness going on, because I think that's part of the agate right there. I don't think that would rub away. Gorgeous one. Super smooth. This is a nice chalcedony nodule. You can see that white stuff? I think that's from the outer husk. I think this one has some faint banding in it as well. Possibly right there. Yeah, I think it's right there. It's nice. Beautiful. Carnelian with bending on the outside of it. It's a little hard to tell if it goes all the way through, but it is on the outside. And it's also very translucent as well. Very pretty. Another nice mossy one. A little bit more opaque, but still very translucent as you can see. I love this one. It's got amazing 
blue banding when the light isn't shining through it, through it. But when it is, it does make me feel like it's a carnelian. It's because of the color. The banding appears to be very blue. So plus it's got some limonite staining on the outside as well. Very nice one. Not a nice little nodule. Can't go wrong with that. Very nice one. Light shines through there very well. Gorgeous banding around the little pocket there. It's all the way around to the back side. It's a beautiful one. Little chalcedony nodule. With a weird little pocket thingy. Another beautiful carnelian nodule. With banding on the surface, for sure, you can tell that fairly easily. But I'm not sure again if it goes all the way through or not. But it is very pretty. I love it when the light shines through it. This one's got, is just extremely translucent. You can see right into it. Looks like it has some stuff going on inside as well. So again, thinking nodule here. Beautiful. I think nodules were the name of the game this trip. Because I think this is another one. This is what I call the honey drop because it is just super see-through and super smooth and it looks like just a little piece of honey. I love that one. Another nodule where again you can see there's something inside of it. Got a little carnelian right there where a little chip broke off so it might be carnelian on the inside. That would be very interesting if it was. Maybe like Carnelian banded. This is that super opaque one, but I do think it's an agate because you can see the banding. I've never found anything like this before, but I do definitely think it's an agate. It's very unusual for this area. Beautiful Chalcedony nodule with a little pocket. There's a little pocket there. You see the sparkles. Another Carnelian nodule here. Beautiful colors, nice and translucent. Looks a very dark brown on the outside, or gray even. But when the light shines through it, it just lights up with a carnelian color. This one's really pretty too. It looks like a lot of quartz, but it's very translucent and it's got a little crystal pocket in the middle there. Might even have bending in spots. Kind of tell at the tip of my finger here. Cool one. All right, last one for the smaller ones. Another beautiful Chalcedony nodule. Some different colors going on inside of it. Really like that. It's like a little, little ball, it's very rounded. All right, here's some larger ones. Nice Chalcedony. Good size chunk of it. Gorgeous. Another Chalcedony. It has all the swirls on it. See right there. Really neat. It's always hard to say if it goes all the way through or not. Doesn't seem likely, but pretty either way. Chalcedony. Maybe with some carnelian through it. Nice chunk. Beautiful module. Another beautiful Chalcedony. Some banding right on there. Can't really see that too well with the light. The light has to be just right for uh, to be able to see it. But it's fairly faint. It's a nice little Sydney agate though. This one's gorgeous. See some banding around quartz pocket there. Some more right there with that really nice dark banding around that pocket. Another extremely smooth Kelsedney nodule. That little outer white rind on it still. It's like a mixture of a Chalcedony and Carnelian agate mixed together. Probably a nodule as well. It's 
nice chalcedony nodule. Very pretty. Another chalcedony nodule. Got some host rock in there as well. Looks like it's even on the inside. Really nice carnelian. Looks like it's even transitioning from different colors there. Really interesting. Very pretty. Another nice carnelian here, which has a quartz crystal pocket there as well. Another nice one. Looks like it's got surface banding on this one as well. With uh, some quartz right there, quartz right there, with banding around it. Another very pretty one. So it's another nice opaque mossy agate probably. Good size. Very dark in spots. Really cool though. Here's a carnelian on the inside, but mostly chalcedony on the outside. There's a little carnelian peeking through in spots. It makes me think that the inside might have carnelian banding in it. Looks like it has an extra like a nodule that got attached to it over here and on over here. This one looks like a chalcedony and carnelian mixture together. It's something very dark on the inside. Pretty one. Here's another chalcedony and carnelian mixture. Very nice. Here's a nodule. Super smooth. It's got a little thumb impression there almost. Kind of like a worry stone. It's got like these eyes all over it. It's really interesting. There, there, over there, there, there. Looks like it has some stuff going on in these particular eyes, and it almost looks like a face because of it. Most of that limonite staining seems to have worn off. But Really like it. Super smooth, easy to carry around if you wanted to. Here's that really big chunk of chalcedony. It looks like a bunch of crystal impressions all over it. The back side here. Some in that corner. There, it's got a little crystal pocket. Very cool. Lots of stuff going on with this one. Now, this is the hard agate. Love this one, obviously. Very translucent. Beautiful crystal pocket in there, banding all around. Doesn't get much better. This one is a nice seam agate, I believe. It's got a nice crystal pocket with banding, like black banding up top there, and then some more banding on the side here. Right there, you can see that. It's more in the corner. It pretty much goes all the way around the pocket there. Well, that's very pretty. Cool one. And it's got a little hole. It goes all the way through it. Nice one. And this is the big, the big chunk of carnelian. Just gorgeous. Looks like this is where it broke off and it's all smooth. I don't really see necessarily banding in it. There are some different colors going on with it. This corner is extremely translucent. And it are, is also right here, there's a little pocket that might have something inside of it if you were to polish the top of that off. So, really, really pretty. Pretty stunning. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.